right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. Carolina Kovalkiewicz has graced the octagon. This time, she'd like to leave with the goal. Of the top 10 in the UFC women's bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in the big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense time. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Carolina Kovalkiewicz. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Oh, what a splash the UFC makes every time we come to the United Kingdom. If you want to see the UFC live in London, you better buy tickets within five minutes of them going on sale. You're going to be, You're going to be standing outside hoping to be inside the arena. All the way back to UFC 7, my champion versus champion. Rampage versus Dan Henson. The UFC has won fights that are going to be involved in the Nice pass. Kovalkiewicz getting work here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, look out. That thing is tight. It's advancing. She's about to finish. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Mm, nice. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and power off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Great defense from her back. Nice shot there by the champ. 
So look at this, DC. She's got her in rubber guard. I know we've seen a lot of Eddie Bravo pupils employ this with pretty good success in the UFC. What are you trying to do? Oh, looks like a guillotine attempt here for Oh, she got out. How good is that? DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back. And she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Kovalkiewicz is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Ooh, she's got a rear naked choke, and it's tight. Oh. Might have been out. She got out. She got out of that position. Way to stay confident and comfortable under attack. And now she ends up in a dominant position. Wow. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Right into side control. Oh, Kovalkiewicz is back in half mode. She's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And now she has her back. Kovalkiewicz is in half goal. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort. My rubber guard for her now, so not a lot of fighters will go to this type. Try and brace her mission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Trying to choke his right there. Great submission defense and she gets out. All right, well, through no lack of effort, she still hasn't been able to get the submission. You gotta credit the defense at some point here. Absolutely. This young lady is so present defensively when she's under attack. She never panics. She's so calm under pressure. She seems to be a person that can't be submitted. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Good jab there by the champion. She's stepping over the ball here. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how she... Oh. All right, so the fighter's setting up another sub attempt here. Ooh, she's got it tight. Oh, come on. That has got to be it. And somehow, some way, she gets out. What a beautiful job. Pushing the leg over your head. Free in your head, defending the on bar submission. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Constantly a moving target. Oh, that hurt sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Now, this round, I want you to get that submission. You're getting close, but you're giving up position. You're giving up some space before you're attacking. All right, so she doesn't get the submission win as many expected, certainly not due to any lack of effort, but a nice overall performance by her nonetheless. I think this is one of her best performances. She attacked everything. She was trying to finish the fight every second of the fight. She did not get that finish, but in all of those attempts, I believe she should win the decision. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. And with that, our next round is underway, and you wonder if she's a little bit frustrated that she was unable to submit her opponent in the previous round, but probably undeterred in trying to close the show. She's going to keep pretending to try to get those submissions off. The more attempts she gets, the better she feels that one will be secure enough to finish the fight. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Oh, she got a nasty head kick home there. Oh, 
big Superman punch there. Straight punch. Houston. That was a hard body. There's that patented single. Oh, nice. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, she's out, and I don't mean unconscious. How did she escape? Oh, Kovalkiewicz is in half guard. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing. Right away passing. Trying to pass to get the grounded pound off. And now she's in mouth. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Well, she's on bottom, but defensively avoiding a lot of these headshots. Gotta be careful here. Position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, it's getting deep. White IQ on full display. This young lady recognized the sub wasn't there, so she kept the dominant position. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Back and forth we go. single call time. probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. All right, she's got her in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the bottom fighter, nothing advantageous about it. It's not a good position to be in when you're in the bottom position. You've got to try to force some sort of improvement. You've got to force some sort of action that will allow you to return to your feet. It's very tough. It's very difficult. But if you're patient, there will be an out presented to you at some point. Well, I'm not sure her hands. Oh! oh, she is in real trouble. Oh! Oh, beautiful hip toss there as she takes her opponent for a ride. She took her on her own personal flight. Right. Over the top of that beautiful hip toss. Fantastic technique. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. <laughs> oh, right into Mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That was a big check. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. hands on display. Another punch lands. Well, no surprise, she attempts another takedown here. Pretty good entry, but... Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, yes, now we're going. Now, standing round and another five minutes coming up. That's what I'm talking about. Day with that striking. She can't handle the striking. You just keep the pace, keep doing what you're doing, keep counting. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready to fight? Ready. 
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round getting underway here, and if you look at these two women, you may think it's the start of the fight. Absolutely impressive where their cardio is at here as we hit this next round, and you wonder what it's gonna take to tire these women out, at least if the first couple rounds are any indication, they look like they could go 25 hard minutes with these. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, new round, same result as she continues to attack the box. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Kovalkiewicz. Nicely done as she closes the distance to attain the single collar tie. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, she's working hard for the submission now. She is fighting with all of herself to get this finish. Oh, she escapes. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Ooh, big shot, man. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Committed to the body work, you see the results. Look at the redness on the right side of her body. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. Kovalkiewicz's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Nice pass. She's stepping over the mount here. Under three minutes to go in our third round. In position for a submission attempt here. Oh, she got that locked in quickly. It's tight. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. Is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Just misses there with the left. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Two minutes now to go. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent's still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade. Push kick there to the body. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Oh, Kovalkiewicz's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Another big thing. Right into side control. Oh, nice headlock. That Darce is tight. Darce choke around the neck. She might get it. But the only way to make sure that she does is to take her time. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. And she's back up again, so the takedowns have been there. So have the get-ups. Now she misses with the left punch there. Oh, massive kick lands flush. 30 seconds to go now. She's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, she's got to move, man. She's got to get on the bicep. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. 
All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. Well, at some point, she's going to have to shore things up defensively. Let us get you some replays and show you some strikes that led to all that damage. Just beautiful striking on display, but it's easy to look like this whenever your opponent just refuses to move their head. She was able to land and Ready, land fight. at will, Ready. and now you see all that swelling on her opponent's face. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round of fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. She's cool in the ground and pound. And now she can see the effects of that last big shot. Oh, big shots from the top. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, looked like the arm might end the fight. Instead, she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in her submission defense. Can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Keep that top position and work your elbows. All right, she's in the north-south position. Oh, she's got her back. Got flat to her back. This ain't good. Oh, she's going to that patented rear naked choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. We may get a finish here, and it'll be by rear naked choke. She's got her arms locked. She's got her hands locked. She's got her arms. Oh, she got out again. And now she's in mount. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Carolina Kovalkiewicz. She continues to go here because it's working. Do not change anything. Well, you could argue this is as good as she has looked on the feet, and she continues to target that facial region. A lot of swelling now. I'm one of those guys that will make an overstatement. I will talk about how great they look. I don't know, and I truly mean I don't know if she's ever looked better. Yeah. She looks like an absolute savage out there tonight. And the work that she has done on her opponent, she's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a choke. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Oh, she's got that Kimura locked in tight. what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. Really nice job by her there to execute this submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by tap out due to a Kimura. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Aaron Hoplander. 
The Bantamweight Queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job.